Alright, finished uh, extracting, now it's uh, decrypting the firmware. Uh, I'll come back when this is done. Alright, finished uh, decrypting the firmware. Now it's moving on to uh, decompressing the firmware. It's finishing up uh, decompressing. Uh, now it's going to uh, be reading the existing image. Alright, it's finishing that up. Now it's going to uh, be mounting the new uh, system image. Um, all this is automatic, nothing you got to do. All you got to do is be patient. Now it's going to initialize system image. Um, make sure that you're plugged in. So you don't want this your iPod or iPhone dying while you're trying to do this. And uh, after it uh, finishes initializing the system image, it will uh, begin copying the data to the system image. Um, and I'll come back when that part's done. Alright, it's finishing up uh, copying the data to the system image. So you can see it kind of stalls a little bit at 100%, just be patient. Now it's going to actually uh, jailbreak the system image. And um, come back when that's done. Now it's uh, finalizing the system image. And I'll come back when that part's done. Alright, now it's uh, clearing user data. Now it's initializing user data. Now it's going to uh, write the image. And I'll come back when it's done. Alright, it's uh, finishing up uh, writing the image. Okay, now it's uh, rebooting itself. And uh, I'll come back when it's uh, done re uh, rebooting. Alright, it was loading up and now it's asking that you uh, have it plugged in. Go ahead and set the camera down and do that. Alright, I uh, got it plugged in now. Now it's just asking you to restore from a backup. Click continue. That'll uh, restore from the backup. Um, if it gives you an error, all you gotta do is unplug your iPod and then plug it back in. Um, but it works 99% of the time. Click OK. It'll uh, reboot your uh, iPod. And once it's done rebooting, it'll uh, reconnect to iTunes and it'll sync up and start transferring your uh, music and stuff. As you can see, in 1.3, there's an installer. Um, you can see it's syncing. We'll go ahead and just cancel the sync for now. At this point, what you want to do is go into installer. It'll refresh sources. Ask you to update. We'll go ahead and update now. Installer's been updated. Installer was updated. You need to restart. Okay. Alright, back into installer. At this point, you're going to want to go down to uh, sources. Click edit, add, you're going to type in iPod dot iGuy, I G U Y dot, and then D K, not D O, D K, so iPod dot iGuy dot D K. Click OK. It'll refresh sources. And you're going to click done. You're going to go back and click and install. You're going to click on iGuy. You want to go to where it says 1.1.3 up datering. Um, I believe this is a German guy, so that explains some of the funky spelling. But um, this works. So at this point, 1.1.3 uh, up datering. Then click install. Install. It's going to download the package. It's going to install it. Cleaning up. Then click your home button. Go back to your springboard. 
slide to unlock. And there you have it. You'll probably uh, get a, a little message that pops up explaining to you how it all works, but I already had installed it and uninstalled it and then turned the back or the camera back on just to make sure it was working. But there are uh, all your applications, weather, it's working, um, maps. Oops. Um, see a uh, wiggle feature, a click. You can see it's working as well. Click the home button, stop from wiggling. Um, if you have a problem with the uh, mail remembering your password, the um, also has a fix in there for that. If you go back to installer, click install, iGuy, you click on 1.13 mail fix and install that. That'll fix the uh, password uh, saving issue with uh, mail. But uh, there you have it. The updated version of um, Jailbreaking 1.3 with all the uh, applications with the wiggle feature. Um, don't forget to visit my website at iPodTouched.blogspot.com.